In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I repair my reflow plate and solve the heating problems. So first things first, I made a mistake. In my reflow plate video, I said that I would use a P control, but it's just a bang bang control. So I apologize for that confusion. And second, I have bad news. I was experimenting with my reflow plate and now the iron is broken. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Anyways, I got a new iron, I mean an old new iron from eBay for really cheap, so let's replace the broken one. So now the iron is replaced, but there is still a problem with the heating process. As I already mentioned earlier, in the first version I used a bang-bang control, but that caused a lot of overheating. Now I have several options to control the heat. Many of you suggested to use a PID control, but to be honest, I don't want to do that, because you have to tune a PID control and that's just too much work. But I came up with another method. So first I went ahead and broke an Arduino sketch to heat the iron and to read the temperature. And then I heated the iron for 1 second, 2 seconds, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15 and 20 seconds. And here you can see all the data, so all the temperatures. And I converted these into this graph right here. And that might seem a bit boring because it's just a bunch of colorful graphs. But there's actually really interesting information because I calculated the minimal and maximal value for each um, second. So for example, for heating at one second, here the minimal is uh, 42 degrees and the maximum is 51 degrees. And for two seconds we have uh, 30, uh, 43 degrees and 46 degrees and for seven seconds we have a minimal temperature of 45 degrees and 72 is maximal. And then I calculated the delta. So between four, uh, 42 and 51 is 9 or between 50, uh, 45 and 72 is 27. And when we have a look at this delta in a graph you can see that it rises. It's not linear because there's a jump from 10 to 15 to 20 but it actually rises by 4. So for every second I heat it the temperature increases by 4. Um, and so I made this formula right here. So I take the set point, my temperature I want to reach, then I say minus the current temperature and divide this by 4. And then I say that this is the time I have to heat the iron. And to prove it, I went ahead and I had a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and I wanted to reach uh, 180. So um, I uh, calculated this with my formula right here and heated the iron for 30 seconds. And this is the uh, values right here. When you have a look at it in the graph, you can see that the graph um, rises to 180 degrees and then it, it cools down again, but that works pretty good. But I want to have it steady or, or at least um, oscillating around the temperature. So last time I said when the, um, iron, uh, the heat, iron temperature drops 5 degrees Celsius below the set temperature, it should heat until it reaches the set temperature, but that causes this um, really huge overheating. And now I say uh, I have 180 degrees and I want to um, heat it at 175 degrees. So there are five degrees um, Celsius delta. And when I have a look at my table, when I heat the iron for two seconds, I have three degrees um, as a delta. So it increases by three degrees. So I said, all right, when it drops to 175 or five degrees lower than my set point, I heat it for 2.5 seconds then I should be around 5 to 7 degrees of heating and then it should be the right temperature again. And I did this as well right here uh, for the 180 and then have a look at this graph over here. The red line is 180, the orange line is 175 and the blue line is my uh, temperature. And as you can see it oscillates pretty good around this 180, there is a little um, overshoot but it's five degrees so it's it's not too bad and in comparison to the last graph to my bangman control this is 
way better. This was almost perfect. So that works. Now let's give it a real life test. As you can see, I also added a little um, start button and now let's set the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius and hit start. And there we have it. In red we have 100 degrees, in orange 95 degrees and in blue we have the temperature. And this looks pretty good. We have a maximum overshoot of 103 degrees, so that's 3 degrees Celsius more than I wanted, but it will work just fine. So I'm really happy how this turned out. And as you can see now everything works as it should. All the problems are solved and the refill plate is fully functional. I'm really looking forward to use it because I think it's a really cool machine. If you think so too, then feel free to like, share and subscribe. Here more videos, here you find my channel, so have a nice day and see you soon.